What it really is, what we're really doing, put in very simple terms, is that we are doing with our great permanent collections, stuff that we've been doing with special exhibitions. When we, when we do a special exhibition, it has a story, it has a specific theme. We've never done that with the permanent collections. So what we did was to sit down, groups of the staff, not just art historians, but over an 18-month period, groups drawn from across the staff were educated by the curators about the collections and then they began to draw out the stories, the interesting stories that could come from the groups of works of art themselves. And scattered throughout the whole installation there are about 90 of this kind of idea. Some big ideas is actually sort of like one object. tells You can tell a whole story. Right in the past we would have said this is a perfect example of neoclassical art and it is. That was why Catherine the Great commissioned it. Uh, she used the most expensive materials we used in France, the best place to get this done. It was in her palace. Stalin sold it when he needed money. It was bought by one of the greatest dealers in the history of art and he sold it to Mrs. Anna Thompson Dodge who brought it to Gross Point. It was there for 30 years and then it, it, it came to the DIA. So that, that's a story about, you know, uh, avarice, you know, love, passion, need, you know, a, a, a creepy guy like Stalin in the middle of this whole thing needing money for his, his experiment. Um, and, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a riveting story and that's, that's all just about one object. Another way to propel people away from a presentation is to put a lot in it. And again, it's about control. So there are about half as many pieces in that case as we might have been inclined to put in there a few years ago. You know, we're doing what we're doing here, but the DIA is also part of a new, a new group called the Cultural Alliance. And the Cultural Alliance is part of this 1D thing. So six different organizations that all have everything to do with the future development of the Southeast Michigan are all talking uh, together. So you, you see the, the, the great sense of urgency um, and a sense to stop just talking about these different things and fixing this and fixing that. I think that has, has been a huge change that's happened really in the last two years. We are often described as the jewel in the crown, the cultural crown, and, and I have to say I, I agree with that. Sometimes destruction is permanent destruction.